I'd also like to introduce Representative Bobby Scott um, as he walks up here from the rear. Um, Mr. Scott has been an undying supporter of the National Coalition and um, we're always pleased that he comes for briefings and he speaks and says um, all sorts of relevant things. Um, um, Mr. Scott is a leading advocate for reforming our nation's broken criminal justice system. He has uh, sponsored the Death and Custody Reporting Act and successfully led efforts to pass the Fair Sentencing Act. He has also led efforts to pass comprehensive juvenile justice reform and crime prevention legislation. Towards that end, Mr. Scott introduced the Youth Promise Act, a very significant piece, which would provide resources to state and local governments for evidence-based practices and strategies <coughs> to prevent juvenile crime. Let me welcome Mr. Scott. Thank you. Thank you, Denny, for your very kind introduction, and Neil in, in, in the back, and everyone here. Um, <clears throat> I want to thank the National Prevention Science Coalition to approve labs for all the work that you do. Um, prevention science is uh, kind of a new idea for um, politicians, but I've been working in this field for a long time. <clears throat> I got involved to begin with when I was in the State House of Delegates. Um, working on maternal and child health issues, trying to reduce infant mortality. And you find out that the best strategy for reducing infant mortality is prevention and early intervention. And it not only, the, <clears throat> and actually the, the good thing about it is that if you provide good prenatal care, you end up saving money because of all the complications that you, that you avoid. I then got involved in um, uh, crime prevention because you find that we spend so much money on prisons and we spend a little on uh, prevention and early intervention, you'd actually not only reduce crime, but save money. And when I was in the um, state senate, last few years I was in the uh, state senate, we introduced a legislation that created the Council on Prevention. Because we've, we've, we learned that uh, one agency can solve problems but sometimes they just create problems for others, like the school system can eliminate many of their problems by kicking kids out of school. If you have a council and somebody from the Department of Corrections is sitting up there, they might say, whoa, let's see if we can do something better because you kick them out of, you got them out of, out of your problems, it becomes my problem. And if you have everybody sitting around the table, what can we do from a prevention and early intervention perspective um, to solve our problems, you end up solving the problems and usually saving more money than you than you spend. I remember the first meeting in that council where they had a list of all the problems we were trying to solve. Drop out of school, delinquency, teen pregnancy, teen suicide, and a lot of other problems. And then what are some of the root causes? All the root causes across the top. And it turned out that the root causes were causing everything. And if you have a good prevention program, say teen pregnancy prevention, and solve the root causes, then you could actually solve, if you're doing teen pregnancy prevention, you're going to reduce crime, you're going to increase graduation rates, you're going to reduce teen suicides. And so if you have a good prevention program, you actually end up preventing everything. In the middle of this, I had the advantage. Uh, there's a professor at William & Mary, uh, Joe Galano, that some of you may know, he's recently retired. Uh, was a prevention expert, and he's a, a professor of psychology, uh, but his uh, expertise was in prevention science. And so every time I had some questions, I had somebody to rely on as we set up the council and, and did everything else. As we come to Congress, um, we know that a lot of uh, problems that we're dealing with can should be dealt with prevention science. Crime, for example, Prevention and early intervention, the science shows that you can reduce crime and save money, as opposed to the slogans and sound bites uh, that don't do anything but run up the um, prison population and do nothing about, uh, nothing about crime. In education, prevention science works, and the science shows you how you can get young people on the right trajectory by starting early, the earliest childhood education, um, and, and get young people on the right track and keep them on the right track. That the science can tell you how that how that actually works. And so it's no surprise that you come together and talk about parenting as a strategy, 
uh, under the National Prevention uh, Science Coalition to improve lives because parent, good parenting early in a child's life can get them on the right track and keep them on the right track and end up solving all the problems, teen pregnancy, dropping out, um, uh, graduation, and, and, and everything else. And so, uh, we, so I'm just delighted to be here, delighted to see that you're trying to talk politicians into doing something right and do, getting, you know, making uh, decisions based on evidence and research rather than slogans and sound bites that we usually do. And your presence here shows us that um, it might even be the right thing to do. So, uh, Denny, thank you for, uh, uh, for coming and thank you for all the work that you do. We have a long way to go to convince people that this is actually a science and it's uh, research-based and that you can uh, actually accomplish the goals that you're trying to accomplish if you look at it at an evidence-based research perspective rather than the poll-tested sound bites that we usually rely on. So thank you, Denny, for, for coming and look forward to have, uh, everybody that's uh, on the education workforce or, or, um, or personal staff. Can you raise your hand? Um, so um, uh, they'll, be, they'll be here for a little while. And uh, a former staffer, Bobby Vassar, who was in the state government when we created the Council on Prevention, uh, is also with us today. Great resource. Uh, make sure you put him to work because he's retired now, so uh, don't let him enjoy the retirement. So uh, thank you for coming. We look forward to working with you and incorporating prevention science in many of the things that we do. Thank you.